More than 250,000 Australians are currently living in retirement villages across the country. While the sector is marketed as safe, fun and low maintenance, some retirees are hit with exorbitant fees when they attempt to leave. ABC investigative reporter Adele Ferguson has been looking into the issue and joins us now. Adele, thanks so much for coming in. Pleasure. What have you uncovered exactly? Yeah, we've looked at lots of contracts of retirement villages and found that in many cases, people actually go backwards financially when they come to sell due to the exorbitant fees. And they also have some repressive um, clauses in them, such as no pets, uh, requiring mandatory health examinations and things like that. So they're not as independent as what they say. Who are the people <clears throat> you've been speaking to as part of this report? Um, we've spoken to lots of families. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> we've spoken to lots of families and residents and uh, staff, mm. auditors, many uh, lobbyists, whole gamut of people. Mm. And yeah, there's definitely mm. big systemic issues there. I, I believe we can hear from some of those um, comments now. I can't believe my mother's lost all her life savings. I felt sick. Um, I had to read through it more than once. I got my husband to read through it. I emailed it to my brother and said, can this possibly be right? That, I guess, Adele gives you the human side of this story as well. Yeah, so you've got uh, one person who's uh, 89 years of age. Mm -hmm. She bought in for under $400,000 10 years later, needs to go into aged care. She'll end up with $81,000 back, mm. which is not enough for aged care, so she has to go on a waiting list. Mm. What have you heard from the sector? The sector says that it's affordable housing and uh, that it's cheap on the way in. What they don't really talk about is how expensive it is on the way out and what impact that has on um, their families mm. and the people themselves. Mm. So how can the, the regulation of this sector be improved? So the regulation is really light on. It's state-based and a lot of it falls through the cracks. Mm. The uh, industry itself has a code of conduct which is voluntary and only 40% have signed up to it. There's never been a breach. So there needs to be a lot more regulation. It needs to be national. Mm -hmm. Adele Ferguson, thanks for coming in. Thank you.